wonderful people. Thank you for tuning on today's video and welcome to my channel, Jessica My Rose. We're gonna be creating some wonderful snacks ideas for this special of Super Bowl. So stay tuned for these recipes and ideas that you can create for you and your family or friends gatherings, but for the Super Bowl season or really anytime you feel like it. So, and there will be a bonus as well for a sweet dessert uh, treat that you can offer your friends and your family. So stay tuned for that. This is in collaboration with some amazing YouTubers that are gonna be sharing you, sharing with you other ideas to uh, create the best Super Bowl uh, gathering. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna be a playlist on the description box below. And I wanna thank Tiffany at Small Town 6 for once again uh, being hosting this amazing collaboration. I will leave her channel in the description box below so you can check her out as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head to the kitchen, my friends. And if you happen to new be new, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, like, and let's go. get your ingredients out and for this uh, recipe we're gonna be making a special guacamole for our Super Bowl guests so we're gonna be needing avocados tomatoes uh, jalapeno lime and cilantro I have cilantro from my garden and then uh, some spices over here that I have displayed but we're gonna go ahead and start chopping away I'm going to take a quick second, you guys, to introduce myself for those who happen to be just brand new to my channel and just being able to connect with my audience and know more about you guys as, as uh, much as you guys know about me. So I am uh, a wife and a mom of two little boys, preschoolers. They keep us busy for sure we do a lot of traveling vlogs lifestyle motherhood homemaking videos uh, my goal is to be able to uh, inspire you give you motivation sometimes on those hard days to uplift you and get, get you going for your day uh, we do traveling vlogs as well we do have an RV we live here in Arizona so we do a lot of camping and there's a lot of camping content coming your way in the next um, few months as far as uh, our adventures go so uh, if, you, if all that sounds interesting or any of that sounds interesting to you be sure to subscribe like and um, get your bell notifications on so you can be alerted when i uh, post new videos usually i'm posting twice a week uh, Tuesdays and Fridays, so stay tuned for more. Now, you guys know that guacamole, it's a very famous traditional Mexican um, salsa or dip or dish, however you want to uh, introduce this to your public, but it is really delicious and really super easy to make. Uh, like I said, you just need those ingredients that I mentioned before. And honestly, the best part of this, it's the smell of the cilantro so refreshing so so good it's so delicious now here uh, you saw me I'm using one jalapeno depending on how much you're making and how spicy you will like your guacamole that's how much you will use but I would say one to two jalapenos will be good and after I have chopped all those ingredients I am just sharing with you guys here what I uh, use for spices and a little fun fact I actually didn't used to like avocado ever growing up it was awful for me and now I absolutely love this recipe you guys and avocado too so the next recipe it's super super simple uh, very unique and uh, authentic on flavor but super easy to turn it into so many things what I mean, this is a bell pepper dip. I don't know if I have um, um, actually shared it here on YouTube, but I think I have shared it on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to check that out there um, and follow me there so you can get also uh, more updated. But uh, as far as this recipe, it's really, really, really tasty. Um, and I'm going to tell you 
the the fact of this recipe is that you can make it into a dip or you can make it into a, a more saucy um, depending on what you're you can make it into like a, an enchilada sauce um, like a alternative which I have already done in the past um, or like a, you know uh, you can marinate a chicken with this. I don't know. There's like so many uses that you can do with this recipe. And truthfully, they are super, super easy and super tasty. Um, it all depends about the texture. And all you need is bell pepper, two bell peppers. You need uh, one pound of cashews. And uh, you need two um, uh, cloves of garlic as well as a pinch of salt and pepper and then you add um, also coconut aminos um, this is an alternative uh, from uh, soy sauce it's a lot uh, better for you and this is the one I am using this time around so um, you need this the uh, lemon juice as far as liquid goes and that's pretty much it so well, let's go ahead and uh, show you guys how it gets done and show you the uh, after product the family absolutely loves this um, friends and even the kids really really like this you can use this with dipping into like Red breads and I don't know why I'm chopping it like this if I'm gonna be blunt <laughs> Blending it all up here, but I was carried away with this because um, I'm really passionate about it I actually um, think it's just so easy and healthy and um, Tastes uh, it tastes delicious. So the flavor and I mean the color of it. It's a little bit um, Interesting because it looks like a pumpkin uh, looking color, but it's uh, really 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 good. So let's go ahead and get these going On this next recipe, we will be using Greek yogurt, plain non-fat Greek yogurt, two cups of that, plus four eggs. Um, this is actually a made-up recipe because I wanted to use that Greek yogurt. And then I use some cocoa powder, baking cocoa powder. I will recommend to use maybe a half a teaspoon of cocoa powder plus uh, any choice of your sweetener in this case I use coconut sugar and then I had this um, roll out um, pie crust that I wanted to use as well so I just put that on the very bottom of these muffin tins um, baking sheets um, and made it into like little pies I thought this is great for this type of gathering so they people have a little sweet treat uh, but it's individual easy to grab easy to hold and easy to enjoy so now what I'm doing here it is basically the shape of the football um, and I, I actually bake these separately on a little uh, sheet 
kind of shape it as a football. I did my best. I'm not a professional in any means. And plus, this was a made-up recipe. And I think that it turned out pretty good. Um, I do have to say um, how I originally made it. Uh, it was with too much cocoa powder. I went overboard on that and the, and the cocoa, cocoa powder overtook the flavor. But if I had made it less of cocoa powder, more sweetness, then it will probably turn out great. The consistency was amazing. It was just that cocoa powder that took over a little too much for my taste. I'm not a huge on chocolate. All right, boys, you want to be the Josh of this um, treat? Yeah. Let's see how it tastes. Uh. <laughs> Is that yummy? You like it? Mm. You want that one? Okay, Jace, you want to come try it? Here, you can have that. That's a, an extra one. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, let's give it a try. I put some icing on top. I try it, and I feel it needs a little bit of like icing on top, just extra su sweetness. Um. How is it? Yummy. This no. concludes today's episode, guys. I hope you give it a try for the Super Bowl season or any time you want to give it a try. That will be great. Be sure to check out the description box for the playlist and my friend Tiffany's Small Town 6. And thank you so much for watching.